Good morning children. It's time for today's EVS class. We are doing the 11th chapter, The Valley of Flowers. Today's subtopic is Uses of Flowers. The targeted learning outcome of today's class is to know about the uses of a flower. The competences covered here are observation, identification and discovery of facts. Before starting today's class, let us revise what you have learned in the previous class. In our last class, you have learned about the parts of a flower. A petal is the colored part of a flower. Petals are of bright colors and scent. Sepals are small green petal-like structures that cover the petals before they emerge. Filaments are fine tube-like structures found in some flowers like hibiscus. Pollen is the powdery substance found in the flowers. Bud is a small and pointed structure which develops into a flower. Today we will learn about the uses of flowers. Children, do you know that some flowers are eaten as vegetables? Look here the picture of the banana flower. Banana flower bhaji is very popular in Kerala and Assam. Mountain ebony or kachana flowers are also eaten as vegetable. It is very popular in Uttar Pradesh. Drumstick flowers are popular in Maharashtra. They are taken as pakoras. Some flowers are used as medicines. Look here the picture of calendula flower. Calendula flowers are used to make skin creams for cuts and burns. Rose is also used to make skin creams and eye drops. Children, you might have heard about some old grandmother's recipes which use flowers. Here is one recipe using rose water. Mix equal part of rose water and glycerin. Fill this in a bottle. Add a few drops of lemon juice. In winters, if you use this mixture on your skin, your skin will not crack or dry. Look here the picture of jasmine and hibiscus. Jasmine is used to make herbal tea. It is good for digestion. Hibiscus is used to make hair oil. Hibiscus is good for hair growth. Some flowers are used to make perfumes. Flowers with strong smell like jasmine, tuberose, lavender and rose are used to make perfumes. Do you know what is itr? Itr is also a perfume made of lots and lots of flowers. The Kannauj district of Uttar Pradesh is famous for the production of itr. Do you know flowers are used to make colors also? Flowers used to make colors are marigold, genia, hibiscus, bluebell, etc. These colors are used to dye the clothes or to color the clothes. Look here the beautiful patterns of cloth designs. Some other uses of flowers include making of garlands, making of bouquets, decoration in festivals and celebrations, making of rangoli. Flowers are also used to make ornaments. Girls wear these ornaments during festivals or during dance performances. 
So children, today you have learnt about some uses of flowers. Flowers which are eaten as vegetables are banana flowers, drumstick flowers, kachnar flowers. Flowers which are used as medicines are calendula, rose, jasmine, hibiscus. Flowers used to make perfume are jasmine, rose, tuberose, lavender, etc. Flowers used to make colors are marigold, genia, hibiscus, bluebell, etc. Flowers are also used to make garlands, bouquets and ornaments. So children, today you have learnt about some uses of flowers. Now write down the answers of these questions. Question number 1. Name two flowers used to make part A perfumes, B colors, C medicines. Question number 2. Name two flowers which are eaten as vegetables. Question number 3. Which state of India is famous for itra? Children, write down these answers in your notebook and learn the answers with their spellings. That's all in today's class. Thank you.